In this History Illustrated video, we're going to define the phrase raw materials and how we use it in an 8th grade history class. So let's go ahead and get started here. I have raw materials written at the top. I'm going to go ahead and focus first on this part that says raw. What I mean by raw is that these items are unfinished or let's say natural. For example, if I were to use a raw, the word raw with something that you were to cook, it would be unfinished. If I have a steak and it's not cooked, it's not finished yet. It's not quite cooked and I'm not going to I'm not going to eat it. So, raw materials are simply unfinished materials. These are typically natural. I'm going to start with one example real quick just to kind of get started. Let's say for example, things that come from the water, like fish for example, it's a raw material. It's not quite finished yet. And it's, if you can follow the same example as before with a steak, the fish is not quite finished because we're going to cook it before we eat it. But we're going to talk a little bit more about dirt instead of water. We're going to talk about a few things that we will uh, discuss a lot in our class. So for example, let's say from the dirt we typically will get things like silver or iron. Now these things aren't finished yet. They're raw materials because typically people will dig up silver and turn them into coins or something that they can use or especially iron. They'll dig that up and they'll turn it into any kind of tools or weapons they, they can. So let's continue on with that as an example. Uh, gold is another thing. We'll dig it out of the ground and we'll definitely turn that one into money. And then things like trees. We dig trees. I'm sorry. We grow trees and we will turn them into lumber. So this word lumber here is what we'll call the wood that trees make. For example, if you go to Home Depot and you're looking for some wood, it's going to be called lumber. You're not going to go buy a whole tree to start building a house. You're going to buy lumber that's already been turned into uh, wood from the trees. So let's go with another example here, um, one that we, we focus on quite a bit in early American history, cotton. Cotton grows out of the ground and we'll collect a lot of that and we'll send it off to a place like a factory. So those raw materials, all of them get sent to a place similar to a factory and they're turned into something we call manufactured goods. Now on the next video, we're going to cover manufactured goods.